Hello everybody and welcome back to the Church of Christ of Lake County Facebook page. We hope that you're having a good day and we're very thankful that you have returned for another daily uh, post in Proverbs. We're in chapter 10 today because it's February the 10th as we are trying to go through and read at least one chapter a day of the Proverbs so that for the month we will have read uh, this entire book and next month we'll do it all again but we'll uh, look at some different sections of these different chapters that we are are going through. So today as we're in chapter 10, we want to build upon what we were discussing last time, yesterday, from chapter 9, in view of how we are to be crying out with wisdom as wisdom is crying out in the public places. And last yesterday we were discussing how that there's really two types of people that we are going to encounter as we are trying to help people to better learn what the Bible says and what God's wisdom is. There's the scorner. There is the individual who uh, hates wisdom, those that are wicked, and those that are wise and just, and those that are going to love wisdom. Now, what we're wanting to build upon today is in meeting the negative type of people, the scorners and uh, those that are wicked, we need to take information in so that we remember what, what it is that we actually are in spite of how these individuals who do not love wisdom, who do not want to get instruction, how they may desire to paint us. We need to remember and remind ourselves that in spite of what the scorners and what the fools are going to say about us, those things are actually not true. And so as to build the stage with this, we first want to go to 1 Kings chapter 18 and verse 17 and look at how a famous prophet is being described by an individual that I'm sure many of us are familiar with, Ahab, who was a very wicked king. And verse 17 says, And Ahab, or excuse me, and it came to pass when Ahab saw Elijah, that Ahab said unto him, Art thou he that troubleth Israel? Now, as we said, Ahab was a very wicked king, and he was not walking in the wisdom of God, and he was not following the instructions of the Lord. And what was Elijah? Elijah is a prophet, he is bringing God's message and God's wisdom. How does a person who is a scorner, who is a fool, how do they try to present or misrepresent those that are right and just and trying to follow what God says? They try to paint the picture as, well, you are just troublers. You are the ones that are coming in and trying to stir up uh, problems. You're actually the one causing the problems. So that's an Old Testament example. Let's go to a New Testament example, Acts chapter 24 and verse 5. Here's the Apostle Paul, and he's being taken to court. And here are the Jews that have stirred up a great mob inside of the city. And here's one of the accusations they make against Paul. For we have found this man a pestilent fellow, and a mover of sedition among all the Jews throughout the world, and a ringleader of the sect of the Nazarenes. Here's what people are going to try to do. As you're coming along and trying to present to them the truth of God's word, trying to help them to find salvation in the right ways and how to live a better life here so they can be better prepared for heaven. If they do not want to receive that information, they're going to look at you as a troubler. They're going to view you as being a pestilent fellow. And what we need to make sure that we do is that we remind ourselves of what we really are, that we're paying attention to the positive things that the scripture says about us so that we do not get hung up on the negatives. It's a a uh, well-stated fact and uh, well-known throughout the social media uh, world, if you're involved in putting out content, that no matter how many likes or thumbs up you might get on something that you post, if there's one, if there's 99 positive comments and one negative comment comes in, people fixate, they focus in on that one negative comment. We do not need to do that. We need to remember what it is that we are actually striving to do, what it is that we hold, and how it is that we really look in spite of what these naysayers are trying to present. So we want to look first at uh, Proverbs chapter 10 and verses, uh, verse 6 through 6 and 7. Here's how members of the Lord's church, members of the church of Christ, they're trying to teach the lost. Here's how we really are in the sight of those that desire to know wisdom. Blessings are upon the head of the just, but violence covereth the mouth of the wicked. The memory of the just is blessed, but the man, or excuse me, the name of the wicked shall rot. When people see us coming, they ought to see right here 
hey, in spite of everything that's going on, here are just a group of people that are just happy no matter what. Blessings, joyfulness. They're upon our head. They rest as crowns because we are just people. So what about these people that were trying to say, well, they're just, you know, they're troublemakers and they're trying to stir up strife and so on and so forth. No, that's not what we're trying to do. And when they see us, they ought to see, okay, yeah, there's something not adding up with what these naysayers are saying. And then notice here, the memory of the just is blessed. So when they see us coming, when we are around, there's blessings upon our head. That's what we're bringing. And when we depart, when we end up leaving these people, it leaves behind a fondness and a cheerfulness. And when somebody brings up, hey, you remember, you know, so-and-so that was a member of the Church of Christ, they all say, yeah, I really, you know, I really enjoyed uh, being in that in that person's company, uh, being able to be in uh, discussion with them because they're just. They are, they're just upright. They're simply just trying to do what is right. We need to remember these things when we think about ourselves in spite of what these uh, individuals that are trying to ignore wisdom and instruction, what they were trying to say about us. Let's also notice, uh, let's notice also verse 11. Blessings upon their head. The memory of us is a blessing. And notice also verse 11. The mouth of a righteous man is a well of life. This is what we're bringing to people. We are simply trying to bring to them the message of God's word which is salvation, eternal life. The problem with that is, is that this is going to depend on the person that is around us as to how they take the message that we're bringing. Now, to illustrate that, we're going to go to Paul's Second Corinthian letter, where he describes this in great detail, Second Corinthians chapter 2, verses 14 through 17, when he's discussing him, you know, himself as an apostle and we ourselves as ministers of the Lord and we're going about and taking the gospel out to people, here's how it's going to be received. Now, thanks be unto God, which always causes us to triumph in Christ and make it manifest the savor of his knowledge by us in every place. That's what we're trying to bring. We're trying to bring knowledge to the community, knowledge of God's word and knowledge of God's ways. Now, he says it's a savor. It's a smell of knowledge and that it's in every place. Notice verse 15, for we are unto God a sweet savor of Christ in them that are saved and in them that perish. Those that are going to go into everlasting destruction. Here's, the, here's how we, it's determined which one we are. To the one we are the savor of death unto death and to the other the savor of life unto life. And who is sufficient for these things? For we are not as many which corrupt the word of God, but as of sincerity, but as of God in the sight of of God speak we in Christ to an individual that is on their way unto death those that do not want instruction those do not who do not not want knowledge the wisdom of God then how are we going to be well that they're just a savor of death because all they wanted all they do is they bring condemnation on me no you bring condemnation upon yourself if you do not want it to be a savor of death then leave the ways of death Unto those that it's a savor of life are those that are on their way unto life. Those that desire wisdom and instruction, when we come with wisdom and instruction, there's blessings on our heads. There's a, uh, the remembrance of us is a blessing. And when they see us coming, they see that in our lips or on our lips is a well of eternal life. But to those that just want to do wickedly and those that want to live a sinful lifestyle, we have a responsibility to try to teach them just as we do those that want instruction. But here's how we're going to be received. And we do not need to allow these individuals to warp in our minds who we really are. We are a blessing to uh, our communities and to our areas. And we need to make sure that we keep that in our minds so that we will continue to go about and do the great work that God has set for us to do. We hope that this information has been encouraging for you, and we hope that you'll go ahead and read uh, the 10th chapter today if you have not already, and we look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. If you enjoy this information, be sure to like and share. If you have any questions or comments, then please be sure to leave those below in the comment section. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day.